Did you know the Nintendo Switch has a lot of educational games for children? In this week's video, we will be reviewing many of these games and discuss other ways the Switch can help you with your homeschooling or all around educational needs. The Nintendo Switch was released in 2017 and has sold nearly 100 million units since then. So there's probably a better than average chance that you have one of these lying around your home. And considering how much time your kids would be playing on it if you didn't implement some sort of screen restriction, you might as well figure out a way to let the Switch work for you to make your life a little bit easier. And the Nintendo Switch can do that. It has everything from games that cover science, anatomy, and mathematics, to animal encyclopedias. So this video is going to focus on the top five ways the Nintendo Switch can help you with your homeschooling or all around educational needs. Before we go any further, let me tell you about next week's video because I'm really excited about it. We've been working on it for well over a year. It is going to be our 12 month review of the KiwiCo Science Box subscription service. And the question we're going to be answering is, is it worth it for the homeschooling family? So if you haven't subscribed already or hit the bell down below, be sure and do that so you'll know exactly when it's released. Spoiler alert, sometime next week. To find the games that we're going to cover in this week's video, all you have to do is type in educational games in the search bar in the Nintendo Switch's eShop. And there you will find a list of other games that we're actually not going to cover in today's video. So if you have a lot of success from the ones we do cover, you can definitely go back and check the other ones out. The first educational game we're going to cover today is called Body Quest. This is a relatively new game coming out early in 2021. It costs $5.99 to download, and the description online states that it is a science anatomy based game that is advertised for kids ages 6 and up. And one of the nice things about this game is it has different educational content based on your child's age. You have your six to seven year old group followed by eight to nine and then you have ten and up. The goal of this game is to save the main character Finn from an evil infection. In the game you're shrunk down to fight off bacteria and viruses and along the way the player learns about the musculoskeletal, digestive, circulatory, respiratory, and the nervous systems. For the gameplay involved in this game it's certainly not the most technically challenging but it is enough to keep a child's attention and as they advance through the game kids are given certain quizzes and challenges to help them learn about the human body. So if you don't already own a lot of human anatomy resources at home, this could certainly be a good step in teaching anatomy without having to spend a lot of money up front. Before we go any further, if you feel like you're not ready to let entertainment consoles or apps or tablets get involved in your children's education, there exists ample data that show not only is it a viable option, if the pandemic taught us anything about distance learning and screen education, it's probably the future. So I say embrace it and let's get on to number two. With that in mind, the second way a Nintendo Switch can help you with your homeschooling has nothing to do with games anyway. It's the way it can actually help you be a little bit more efficient and potentially save you some time. Educational games on entertainment consoles or apps on tablets really can be beneficial when you have multiple kids that you're trying to teach. For example, if you have a lesson that you really need to focus on one child, sometimes you can feel like you're wasting time on the other child or children that aren't getting that one-on-one -on -one attention. It takes a lot of planning to teach multiple kids different subjects simultaneously. So instead of letting one child or other children not participate actively while you're engaging in a different subject with another child, you can give them the Nintendo Switch with these educational games already loaded and say they can play all they want to, as long as it's an educational game. And that way you can rest easy knowing that while you may not actively be engaging with them primarily, they are still doing some form of scholastic activity. This can also be especially helpful when perhaps you're taking one child to a sports activity. While you're waiting, yes, you can pack up a bunch of materials and plan ahead and take it out of the house, but it is so much easier just to grab a switch, throw it in the backpack, and hit the road. And while you've got one child doing one activity, you are still able to easily homeschool another child without feeling like you're wasting time. This is the same advantage I spoke about during our Osmo app review from a few months ago. And speaking of Osmo, at the end of this video, if you have a Switch and a tablet, I will tell you what I believe to be the better investment financially for homeschooling efforts among these two consoles. So stick around for that. For the number three way in which a Nintendo Switch can help you with your homeschooling education, we're going to get back to the games. And the next game is called Educational Games for Kids. And whoever came up with that title clearly lacks some originality. This game is the most expensive of the bunch that we're going to review. It comes in at about $13. But keep in mind that is still way less than the more popular games that you can purchase for the console. This title offers a variety of educational topics from puzzles, geography, mathematics, and more. A neat thing about this game is it will keep track of your child's progress, so it is easy as a parent to go back and check to see how they've been doing. I guess the only potential gripe I have about this game is it covers a lot of different topics pretty decently, but none of them great. Most of the topics are really geared for lower ages from music theory, which is basically matching the sounds to the instrument, to puzzle completion with mazes and games of skill. And if you have a child that's already playing with a Switch, I don't know that purchasing this game just to cover games of skill is 100% necessary. But in this game's defense, it does have a pretty good geography section. It allows you to learn the nations, capitals, and their associated flags. So if you're interested in teaching your kids geography, 
but aren't terribly well knowledgeable or passionate on the subject yourself, having it easily transportable on the Switch and fairly comprehensive may be worth the $13 cost of entry in and of itself. Just like purchasing the Body Quest game above if you don't have a lot of anatomy materials, this game might be worth the cost if you don't have a lot of geography materials at home and it is a subject you're ready to start teaching. Also in creating this review, it is clear I had no idea where the country of Malta was. The number four way a Switch can help you homeschool is the game dedicated to mathematics. It is called Mathland, and like Body Quest, also costs $5.99 to download, and you can also purchase this on the Nintendo Switch eShop. This is strictly a mathematics game and is an excellent supplement to your early math education. Unfortunately, it will not teach your kids how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. You still have to do something as a parent. But once your child has the basics down, it can be an excellent adjunct to help them continue practicing. And like the other games, it will also save the progress and you can go back and see how well they've done. The Educational Games for Kids game that I mentioned previously does have some native mathematics games incorporated in it, but if you're strictly looking for math, you're going to save some money and get more quizzes and exercises by purchasing this game for $5.99. Like most of the games on this list, the graphics and gameplay aren't going to be winning any awards anytime soon, but they are decent and fun enough to keep your kids' attention, and generally they want to keep playing. For this video, we have one more game that we're going to discuss, but before then, the number five way the Nintendo Switch can help you homeschool actually deals more with early childhood development. Some of the perceived disadvantages of homeschooling children can be a lack of social interaction and play with similarly aged kids. This can be complicated with some children who may have some social anxiety and not terribly comfortable in environments where other children are around. Now this next example is very specific and not terribly common, but if you find yourself in this position where you have a child who's pretty shy, having them interact with other children that also have Nintendo Switches may help alleviate some of that anxiety. You see, the Nintendo Switch has a very unique feature that lets you combine two Switches together to form one screen. And there are several games on the console that encourage multiple players to play together to accomplish certain tasks. This can help facilitate group interactions, team play, team building, and be a general confidence booster for any child that might not be terribly comfortable with making new friends easily. And as a party bonus, if you find yourself in this situation, most of these games only require one game to have been purchased or downloaded on the Switch to be able to share them with other screens. So while this example might not fall under a specific scholastic category for your educational documentation, it is still another example of how Nintendo Switch can be beneficial for early childhood development. Number six, our final game. And while there are several others on the store that you can purchase, this is the last one that we have reviewed. It's called The Little Mouse's Encyclopedia. It also retails for $12.99, and you can download it just like the others on the Nintendo eShop. We got real fortunate when I went to purchase it, and I noticed it was on sale for $4.99. And after playing it, while there are a lot of benefits to having this in your arsenal, I don't know that it's worth the $12.99. Let me explain. This game is advertised as allowing your child to explore the incredible world of nature. There are beautiful, hand-painted graphics and an interesting collection of facts that will awaken the explorer's soul and everyone. Basically, this game allows your child to explore virtual environments that are based on real-world habitats. When they come across a particular plant or animal species, they can click on it and an informative card will come up that will tell them interesting facts about that particular species. This game is basically an interactive encyclopedia. Unfortunately, there are no games or mini quizzes that could potentially have made this a little bit more fun. That's why I say at $12.99 is probably too expensive, but if you get a chance to purchase this at $4.99, it might be more justifiable. This is more of a reference than an interactive game. There is definitely a lot of information regarding ecology and nature, so if you have a child that really loves to explore the outdoors and has a lot of questions about the animals and the insects that he finds or come across, this could definitely be a beneficial purchase for you in that situation. So to summarize, none of these games in and of themselves are good enough to teach your child the entire subject matter. You're not going to be able to give your kid the Switch and the human body game and say go learn about anatomy. However, it can easily fill a role in supplemental educational responsibilities in ways that we mentioned in the video. So to go back to the Osmo apps that I mentioned before, if you have a Nintendo Switch at home and you have a tablet, which one do you buy? I would just say if you're just interested in pure math, letter and number recognition, the Osmo apps 100% are the way to go. They're definitely more expensive, but they're going to last you a lot longer, and especially at the early ages, your child's going to learn a whole lot more. That being said, to the best of my knowledge, the Osmo doesn't have any core science or anatomy based applications. So if you're interested in biology, anatomy, ecology, the games that we mentioned in this video for the Nintendo Switch are definitely worth it. So which one is better? It's hard to say. The good news is you can kind of treat it like a buffet and pick and choose what you want. That being said, if you do not have a Nintendo Switch, it is definitely not worth it to go out and buy one just for these applications. That's a little bit different of a story for the Osmo games. The quality of the Osmo games, the reusability, and how long they can stick around in the educational process can justify the purchase of an iPad alone. 
But more importantly, like I said, if you have a Switch and an iPad or any tablet, you can just pick and choose and you really can't go wrong. My only bit of advice is don't buy the Little Mouse's Encyclopedia at full price. I don't know that it's 100% worth it at $12.99, but for five bucks, you could do a lot worse. And remember, these are just a handful of the games that are available on the educational store. They have other quiz games, things very similar to Jeopardy, other logic-based games, so you can definitely check those out. So that's it for this week's video as we review some of the ways the Nintendo Switch can help you with your homeschooling efforts. If you've made it this far in the video and haven't subscribed to our channel, what are you waiting on? Don't forget our next video will be a 12-month review of the KiwiCo subscription service. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you next week.